You got the yeah, setup over there. there for six years out here. You remember people used to go to the mall to get the Santa Claus pictures. Mm -hmm. Just let that's the fans bring the kids up here and get a black that's Santa it. Claus. That's picture. it. That's what they're gonna do, and they all gonna get to hang something up there. Hell yeah. Yo yo. Hey man, you out here uh, acting a fool with these cars too. First and foremost. Well, I want to say thank you for uh, really igniting the Benz fire. So you saying that on camera? Yeah. All right. Are we good. already on camera? Yeah, now? you know how we do. Oh, all right. Well, yeah, I will say that. Um, it was always on my heart to purchase one, but I hadn't done no research to what, what was what. Okay. And um, right when I found out which W124 had a V8 in it, you happened to have one for sale. Yeah. I bought that from you, and then I never looked back. I think I'm like six Mercedes in now. Man, you, you, let, you let me know because I still got a gang yeah. of them too. Yeah, well, cool, man. We'll we'll discuss it. We'll talk about it. Yeah, I still sure. got the one. For sure. I ain't gonna say what it was for, but if you still was gonna make that, that move, two door is is it like a teal? Yup. Yeah, that I, one. I do want to discuss the purchase of that car. That I would one. Like to I got a clean ass three hundred collection to mine. That you should get for your little brother. Let him trail you. I'm talking about this motherfucker. I thought that coupe was that. I thought I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I was gonna I was gonna put that together. And I know you've been looking at my '88 too. My brother said you hit the green one. Yep. Yeah. With yes. The, yeah. With That's the what I'm talking about. Spoiler. That's the car I'm talking about. All right. Yeah. You I want make... that car. Okay, bet. It's not here. It ain't here. I know you brought. Cars I tried here. to hit you before I came and like, what you damn. want me to bring? Damn, I could have got the. Bitch. You could have got the bitch. That would have been like DoorDash. Yeah. Fuck. You got right. one out there now. Too, you a, ain't, that's one of the ones you don't see a lot yeah, of. He got a Benz out there right now. That's the Benz God was driving it in too deep. He got the V12. <laughs> that's that one. Yeah, dude, that's, that's the V12. Love there. it. That's the one. That one's that's mean one. right mm -hmm. there, man. But see, got a that cell had, he had a Beamer, though. I went back and did the research my damn self because when I the got it, when I got it, everybody was saying that, and I was like, I don't know. And I went back; he was in a beam. He was in a beam. Okay, yeah, well, yeah, I'm wrong. Yeah, well, that's yeah, what yeah. Ain't no thing. You don't fuck with no them eight forties. They cool. I got two of them bitches. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, with my brand allegiance and shit. Once I, once I'm in in the, in one vein, yeah, that's it. You rock. Yeah, so it's just gonna be all business for me. Man, the last time I was down here, you was working on the hydraulics mm -hmm. right here, and now you done. Yeah, you yeah, this I had my, this my really your garage right here. Shit. Yeah, yeah the, this carport right here, pretty much where a lot of it goes down. But for uh, the season, all my cars in the warehouse right now, I don't have them out here where I would have did my work at. I like to have access to them because this is where all the, a lot of the cruising initiates right here. Yeah, most definitely. So I could just pull the car right out the gate and just go to rolling. So it's yeah, I got a good. cruise. I brought some. I brought my yeah. vert down here. We got that. Over and there. the weather kind of slid over. I didn't know how it was going to look. Yeah, it's starting it to turn into a decent day. So most definitely, you did the right thing. Mm -hmm. Most definitely. What was your first car? Like the first one you got when you was like, oh my God, I got this bitch. The first one that I felt like that yeah, about yeah. or the first car I got? No, the first one you felt like that about, not the first car. I'm not going to lie. All of them. For real? Yeah. Every car I have is my dream car. You still got the Ferrari? Yeah. yeah. The first one? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can't sell nothing. I learned that like when I saw Ludacris on Cribs. Yeah. And he oh, had yeah, the Acura. The Acura. When yeah. he walked to the Legend, I was like, oh, that's how you got to play it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because you got a story for each one, so... Yeah, I still got all of them, but the, I just remember really wanting uh, the first car I did buy with rap money, like was the my '84 Monte Carlo uh, okay. SS, and I wanted one of them bitches bad, and I knew that that was gonna be the start of my. I knew I wasn't gonna stop. I knew yeah, I wasn't just gonna have an old school and a new car. I, I knew I was about to go old school. I always right? ask the motivation: Who made you want one of those? Who did you see with one of those that made you want to buy one of those? When you it was your... it was spinning around on a rotating table and fill my video. Um, I can't think. This wasn't the song that everybody knew. Mm -hmm. It was another song, but they had a video for it. And they had one on 13 by 7s. I ain't like that wheel choice because it was an SS. It wasn't an LS. It had low rider wheels on it, but it was the, the SS joint. But I was like, yo, I, I got to give you one of those when wheel. it's on. Like when it's time. And then, you know, time wasn't too far behind from there, you know? Man, that's dope. I, I really appreciate you fucking with me on the cars and, you know, making purchases and swapping info and, and, and game like that. Chico would tell you, it's like, 
Because when, when you hit me and be like, man, I want that bitch, I be like, ah, we on to the yeah, next one. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. you know how Absolutely. it is when you get to buying cars. Absolutely. It's like, it don't matter how many you get. You still got another one that you're mm -hmm. about to get right after that. So I that just speeds up the right process. Before I got this, right before you put that other joint together for me, Yeah, I had got one for Musa. Then I double back and got in and did that. So yeah, yeah, you're right. It's never over. We looking at some shit right now. What yeah. you looking at? Another band. What's on the? I think I'ma stop after this. It's just a a, a '99 um, uh, E55. Okay. I okay. just remember Master P had one at uh when I started going uh, out there to LA. What's on the hit list that you gotta Outside get? Outside of that. Yeah. Um, a wagon, an Impala wagon. Okay. Yeah, like a deuce or, or a tray, either one. I want to <laughs> cut one of them. Um, outside of that, I don't know. It happens. Whatever really, if I go to an auction or something, if I go to a Barry Jackson or some shit like that, and one of them roll across the carpet singing to me, then, then yeah. But other than that, I think I'm cool. Oh, I'm well. trying to focus on button. Buttoning all the cars up. You know how it's never really over. Yeah, because there's so much shit you could do. Else to the car, but I'm trying to actually button all. See, the that's what I don't have the patience for. Like I watch him, like you know, from the beginning when he ain't had nothing but one car yeah. to where he at now, and just the patience that he has with doing all the stuff that need to be done and going through the different processes of getting this prop from this person and this ain't working and this dude was doing the work i got to get my car from him and send it somewhere else it's like I'm that like dude. man keep that bitch nigga. Nah, because all of that wear and tear on your heart goes away once you get the car yeah you forget how long it was in paint jail how long it was in fucking motor shop jail once you get that bitch back you know what i'm saying it's like it went right from when you dreamt it up to bam, you got it. You can't even worry. And that's about usually that. how the process goes. As soon as you get frustrated, mm -hmm. that's when you getting close to the mm -hmm. home stretch. Mm -hmm. And once you got it, and it break down on you that one time when you first bring it out that initial roll, then you tighten everything up for real, for real, and you bring it out for the weekend. It, it pay you back. Everything that you threw into it, it, it come right back to you. Now you know I keep up with all kind of car shit. The um. The six fold that C Murder was driving in the down for my niggas video, mm -hmm. it either sold recently or it's still for sale. Damn. Would that be some shit that you would add I would, to your I would, I would get that car. I feel like he was in a in a 63. It may have been. But if that car is available, I would love to buy that car. I would love to buy that car. Hell yeah. Yeah. How'd you catch one of that? Where is it? I'll be online, bro. I can't give all my sources out. Hmm. I can't give all my all sources All right, well, just, out. could you, could Text you share a ballpark, <laughs> a ballpark figure, like what you think they wanted for it? Um, I think it was around 35, 40. That's not bad. That's not bad. See, that's all another right, yeah, question man, I got know, for y'all. How do you bro. know what's not bad? Like, when you talking about an old car, like, too much, Too research? many things to factor in. That's what you, I'm saying. Like, how do you know? Because you, you have shit to do. You got to redo the joint anyway. Right. It's really about how much you putting on top of what what you taking to get the car. You know what, what you I mean? doing you, up front. You still going to have to do that shit. See, no if I get, the, the lower I can get the number four up front, the more I'll be able to do to the car. Yeah, yeah. But like with low ride, like if you buying a low ride, that car that he talking about, uh -huh. even though it, with all that history, I still can't ride it. I still have to paint it over and everything. Even though it's painted, like low ride, you can't just buy the car from somebody and then bring that bitch out that sad because you bought it. You gotta take that. It shit. take a year to even drive that. You gotta yeah, bring it yeah, up the long shit. way. All <laughs> motherfucker always just gonna discredit you because you didn't. Have, you, you didn't know, do no. You didn't put no yeah, work you into didn't it. Do it. Yeah. So that's why when I buy one, I always drive the hell out of it before I even start fucking with it. Whatever tab, uh, mm -hmm. it's coming off anyway. Mm -hmm. So I know it's gonna be another year that's before true. I really get get to drive it like I want to. Mm hmm. Putting this blunt together so we can really talk some shit. Shout out to Backwoods. Yeah, did we ever figure possible. out what we calling this? Is this the, the 85 Lounge, Lounge, Lounge with back presented by Backwoods or Backwoods Lounge presents, presents 85 South? Yeah, all of that. What is it? It's all of them. Okay. All right, bet. Just, yeah, that's it. We're going to call it whatever we want to call it. I got you. That's live action brainstorming right on site. That's what you guys do in the boardroom, right? Yeah, every day. Exactly. Sharing you know, that, so do people get to see that? Are they privileged? Are those yeah. cameras still rolling? Yep, always. The Damn, cameras always roll. Right, insightful. Sometimes even to the detriment of the conversations that we're having. 
Yeah, the like camera's the always company. rolling. All right, well, there y'all go. That's a, a gang of free game. You watch them do that. I'm not going to bring you up into the fucking room where we have the design meetings for in the Jet Life store, but Why not? this was on. Because that's what, I'm we, that's not, where the magic happens. I'm not bringing all them. Oh, no. Now, what yeah. I'm saying <laughs> is that they privileged that y'all opened the door and just gave up so much game just now because y'all had conceptualized the program and threw around three different titles, concluded on one title. That yeah. happens in the ballroom. And y'all did all that right. We make an executive game, so decision. So y'all gave them a lot of bro. game. Executive decision. Speaking right. of the, the, the ballroom for Jet Life, man, this is a, you know, like being in your city, people always talk about how difficult it is to get love in your city and how people don't do this, that, and the third in your city, but you have a established business in your city. What made yeah. you say, I'm coming back? Because you could have did it anywhere. You could have, yeah, you got well, a presence nah, everywhere. Why like, New Orleans? I feel like anywhere else I would go, I have to learn where not to go. You got to learn what faces and who yeah. who the motherfuckers is. Yeah, the demographics the fuckery, of the city, yeah. You know, and right here, I know everybody. Mm -hmm. I know what street to tell you not to go down. Mm -hmm. I don't care if you saw me go down it. You, you don't go mm -hmm. down that street. I can advise you those type of things. So with that being said, there's nothing for us to put this, like have this be our headquarters right here where everybody know where we at. And in light of me, like losing homies, like, right at they storefronts and shit like that happening to people like that's heavy on my mind all the time but i still feel like you know we kind of in a good vein around here that's you know? beautiful so I, I don't even want to try my luck on somebody else said no matter how much love they say it is you right know what I'm i got you yeah i got you hey man you drop a lot of fucking music like a lot of music i like to and you know what's crazy this shit is all good. Thanks, man. I don't listen to myself. So I think that's probably what, what it is. Um, that's crazy. So you I don't say live that. with the project. Like, I don't drop it and I'm like, man, like, this shit hard. Like, I don't know. Like, that shit, I, I'm not even worried about it. We already working again. So do you have any favorite verses that you nah, that you hear? Well, you don't never hear your shit and be like, do no. these niggas hear me? No, but I remember um, recording Airborne Aquarium. In um in that art gallery Dame Dash had back in the G and D D one seventy two, and uh, how many people was downstairs, like walking through where me and Ski was recording that, so I couldn't fuck it up, and I had these uh, the legal pad, cause it was hella bars, you know I, I don't know how to count bars, so I don't know how how long the motherfucker was, but the legal pad was all like taped up, and I had to run the whole rap and like the the chick from G I Joe was down there and shit, uh. <laughs> Fucking! <laughs> I like how I love from, how you don't know her name, but yeah, yeah. the chick it? from Gi Joe and the one dude from uh, like Romeo Must Die or something. These guys, real, these Jet Li? Nah. Oh, I was about to say. <laughs> nah, not Romeo Must Die. There was another. There was another like a Romeo and Juliet that was like new. Okay. Oh, shit. that one. The age. Yeah, I remember with, Lar with Leonardo nah, DiCaprio. You gonna do them? that stuff, and I'm not gonna be able to say yeah, that dude or that dude. But but one of those guys from that movie. actor okay. was, you know, what I'm saying people just walking through. I can't fuck it up, so I got to do the rap shit. So right. I nailed it. And uh, when the record dropped, everybody gravitated to that record. When I do the shows. Uh, that's one song that I pretty much don't have to rap. I could just walk off. Everybody gonna run the song word for word. So I just remember the experience of me making sure I didn't, well, hoping that I didn't fuck up. And it would have been nothing for me to like say, all right, bring me back to that part and punch in in front of these people. But they were of such high regard in right. the building. I was like, nah, I gotta show them what fucking time it is. So but, it just happened to work out that way. It was good. You say you don't listen to yourself. That's interesting because, you know, I don't, I be watching myself. I'm like, I can't look at it because it's. Yeah, I did you know it. what you, know you what said. Mean? I know what I did. You and know, know what, what I you said. said. If you're so, gonna laugh at your, you know, like you yeah. know what you said. So I don't think I'm ever gonna dazzle myself again, like outside the studio. When I'm writing, I might say, Woo -hoo -hoo, yeah. in the middle of me writing, it, like, nigga, this crazy, but that's it. I'm never gonna be in the car. Like, so oh, this how does part, that how does know? that play into you remembering your verses? Like when you don't run it back, do you run it back per show? Yeah, at work, you at know, work, for work. Yeah. Like with the band, we'll dial in a few days before we get out on the road. And then once you do the first one, you know, on the tour or something, it come back to you. Next thing you know, you're like seven shows in on the bus and shit. And yeah, it's, it's so nothing. It's, Every, it's like brushing your teeth after that. It's right. nothing. Yeah. Right. We get a benefit of that when we do 85 South shows because we constantly freestyle everything. So yeah, there's no need to double great. back. 
but That's great. you know we got so much of a, a, a archive Hold on, this of is my lady. footage that if we was to go back and watch it, you don't even realize how much hey, you done so said good? and I'm did. Like people sure put it, back. when I see what we've done is when people put out right. videos and, 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 and TikToks and Instagrams and shit, mm -hmm. and I be like, oh, I forgot mm -hmm. that was even something that we did. But you know, I always find it interesting when people say they can't watch they self or listen to they self because I go through the same thing, you know yeah, what I mean? Man, Cause uh, it's like, I I've haven't watched Wildin' Out I've in seen years. people who really, who really, really enjoyed their own products. Yeah. And that's, 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 I, I've heard people who don't listen to nobody but themselves. Yeah, I, I've I've seen that too. That's now you gave us some classics, man. And you know, especially riding in the old schools. Mm -hmm. That Michael Knight always mm -hmm. always gonna have a spot in my rotation. And when I'm like, cause Chico after every show, people probably don't know this. I'm, I'm exposing you, bro. The nigga like to just ride around and just listen to music. Hell yeah. Like if we got another show the next night, mm -hmm. he he out. You know what I'm saying? He a late night rider. I saw this fool just. Yeah, he saw me. I don't know where the fuck the I was at. <laughs> no, nah, we was in. Uh, we was in. Uh, I was in Alabama. Alabama. Yeah, we was in Alabama. I'm leaving the show. All right. This man just walking. I don't know where he was at. Just and it don't look like he, he didn't have nobody with him. Dude just cruising around. Where yeah, were you I never going? had nobody nowhere. I was just walking around. You know what I mean? That's my process. Like <laughs> that's just. What I do, I like I was tripping because nah. I told everybody I'm trying. Man, that nigga look like. Yeah, that, that, I'm like, oh. But the crazy part is the nigga rolled the window down on me like big boy in ATL. I was like, who is this? And this Rolls Royce <laughs> Phantom rolling the window down on me, and it was this nigga. He like, like, where were you coming from? He was like, I had a show around the like, corner. Where is you coming but, from? You can't ask me questions. <laughs> I'm, I'm concerned about you. What are you just yeah. doing out here? Yeah, yeah. I, that's what I do. Like that's my creative process. Like I, you either walk around and, and or ride around well, and listen to music. But see, like this the crazy part about. It. He ain't a nigga who'll just like walk around the building. This nigga might walk three, four, five oh, yeah, miles. You no, know, he wasn't by his hotel <laughs> live no trying to hotel. smoke. <laughs> this fool was like out where like people are who like only are from there. Right. You yeah. Know what yeah, I'm yeah saying? Like and, the but, back but in doing that, I learned a lot a lot about about the, the places that I met, like kind of what you was explaining, you know what I mean? You get to pick up those things because uh. people are so shocked to see you in the environments that, that, like, what you doing here? For sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I had a question for you that I learned from being in New Orleans, the Oak Island bus route. Somebody, right. somebody told me to ask you about that. Do you know what that is? Yeah, it, it, it run like back. But like they say you used to be on there rapping and. Well, yeah, my, that's the bus like back uh, around my mom old house. Oh, for real? Yeah, so. Anytime we went to go get Jordans or something like that, that mm -hmm. was that was how that was the transportation, the means of transportation. I never yeah. really got on the bus except for shit like that. A word. But I saw like, I saw people not get home with their Jordans on the same bus, and I think maybe my rap talents mm -hmm. uh, would reserve me my shoes on each thing. It's like don't try, little dog, because he. Bro, I know. Hold he, on, I gotta ask entertaining. this. Oh, look, <laughs> you done got to this celebrity status. You one of the most humble niggas in the world. Do you still have to hunt your shit down personally, or you got a plug in every city, or what niggas stuff? like when items? Jordans items? Yeah, no, uh, Hot I Wheels. Like to, no, oh no, I gotta get my own stuff. I don't trust anybody's eyes in a Hot Wheel aisle. I gotta go into the Walmart, and it's always the one like the sketchiest Walmart. Got the the one you shit. need to bring your pistol and have all the Hot Wheels. See, because this thing is the like real me Hot Wheel hunters don't want to go there to they get do. it, so you so you could come up like that. So see, yeah. a lot of people don't so, know so you got. I'd a whole rather fucking, do all that shit on my own. You got a whole too. fucking Hot Wheels page. Come to the hobby shop and race some cars before you go. Right, most definitely, you won't. You don't even un, you you have to see it to believe it. Bro, I follow the fucking 3, page. 3,200 square feet. I know, I see this Dedicated to shit. racing high wheels. Yes. What, yeah. what does that come from? Is that a childhood thing or is that something? It's one of them things you yeah. just never grow out of. Yeah, man. like ever since, ever since, ever since. Ever since misbehaving in grocery stores existed. Mm -hmm. Don't ask for there nothing. Was, nothing. There was the incentive of a high wheel if you behave. Because mm -hmm. I used to like get handfuls of cereal and shit. Like on just bust the box. <laughs> get a handful of cereal and walk off from a box of cereal. Yeah, you really from New Orleans. So yeah. my mom was like, all right, if you don't do silly shit like that, we could just we grab one high wheel when we check out, yeah. And they used to <laughs> always put them right there at the checkout. Yeah, they right like at 97 the checkout. like 97 cents, bro. Absolutely. That one thing did not really suffer from inflation as much as times have changed. High wheels were a dollar for a long time. I just realized that it saved 118 now. Yeah. I'm not mad at that, though. Yeah. Bro. That ain't it bad. It ain't go that crazy. A lot of things cost a lot more than they used to. And whoever make them shits now, whoever's over there, I know they done changed management in the last 30, 40 years. 
whoever is over there, they see our shit the same way that we see they shit. Because you can damn near find an exact I know. I've replica seen a few of, my cars. of everything. I have seen a few of on, my cars. Like, the high wheels, people, copyright like, infringing. Right. <laughs> right. You know yes, they are. Good. They they following the Instagrams do? and they making high wheels. Yeah. What you gonna do? I'm just exact Maybe they'll reach out to me, but I'm pretty sure the weed is running them off, you know. But they know what's. I don't. I don't, no, think, I don't so, think so because they getting high over there. You remember yeah, the one high wheel that was shaped like a shark? <laughs> yes. Yeah. There, exactly. There's cheeseburger ones, cupcake ones. You're right. Yeah, they right. definitely getting high. We'll but see, man, we'll when see. you when you sitting out here after all the work is done after a long day and you look around, bro. How do you feel when you see that you own this real estate? You running a business out of here, people shopping with you, and you got the love of your own city, I, like I Chico said. I think about my room at my mom's house, like just wondering, like if I if the shit would pan out because I felt it so deep. Like pause <laughs> inside, <laughs> felt it like I knew it. No, we're done. What's crazy is that with. it resurfaced. Yeah, it's, it it's, really it's went away. It went away, and then Cam them get the TV thing, and I was like, oh, they still do it. Now everybody has to do it again because yeah. there was a good time where we had all just was like, fuck it. Oh, say no. what you express yourself, yeah, like no, man. no, never. Say never what you have to say, here, but now it's like, I watch it. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm. It's and it's cool because you know it keeps you sharp. It's, yeah. it's fun. Mm. Yeah, I think it's a game that all men are gonna play until forever. Yeah, We're gonna exactly. be in the cool. fucking nursing you can home. Also, like a time for your bath. Hey, I don't play them kind of games. Yeah, but, but, but still, you could do that. You could do you can, be that but dude some too, shit but you like, say be so flagrant. Still, I don't care like, if you don't you play. Sound you should have said that. Right? It's just like you know. You know that people are hearing it like that. So no. It's just like these nuts. That ain't never going to die amongst our generation. Nah, nah, nah. nah never. Nah, 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 that you, you have, you know, this is, this is something that I'm sure was envisioned way before you made it come to life. But to go with the apparel, you could have did anything. Why, why clothing? Why, you know what I mean? The brand that launched the brand that way and not a record label that just put out artists. Why did you go with the, the fashion? Because I, something tangible is something I always wanted. Any 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 uh music any musician I followed anything that I was a fan of it could have been monster trucks I always wanted something that I could have to represent part of it you know what I'm saying so like I, I dug NASCAR jackets and shit like that too yeah, yeah, because of that sure. reason you know what I'm saying it looked like you was like a part of the thing so mm -hmm. when when diplomats first was uh banging and plus my my like upbringing around no limit and shit and watching them do just the merch pushing merch that was just promoting albums, but people was wearing that shit like it was Ralph Lauren, uh -huh. you know? So that shit, that shit stuck with me. And then I remember like seeing people uh, with Dipset shit and me having to wonder if maybe they was with Dipset or not. Right. You know, like that looks pretty official, but they was just able to buy that shit. And I'm like, yeah, I would buy that too. Cause I like, I wanted a Dipset fitted. Just before I knew Jim Jones or anything like that, and I was like, I would buy that. Like I would pay like a hundred dollars for one. Of That's fucking cool. So the fact that I fucked with they brand and their music and shit, and I know that people fuck with Jet Life once we got the ball rolling, I was like, nah, if we got something that they could put in their hand, because everybody can't rap, everybody don't want to fucking smoke weed and put their job on the line and shit. But you could put this jacket on and a motherfucker would know that you know shit from sugar. Because right. you could have got any jacket, but you got a jet life jacket, so it's like, nah, dude must know something, or she must know something, you know. That's why we had to do the collab all yeah. the way. We Come had on, to. man, and I love y'all shit. Thank you, man. I love y'all shit. Fuck with your you shit. know, and then was crazy, like, that hat, my hat, y'all just about to drop that hat. Y'all gave me a hat that wasn't out, like, last year. Yeah. I, mean, I think I see it in there now, like, mm -hmm. maybe it'll be out. But yeah. that was like my good luck Pelicans hat. Oh, word? Yeah, I didn't know till the season was over. But once I went through pictures, I was like, damn, that's they win damn near every time I wore their hat. See? So y'all got another one, and then I'm going to have to get two of them. Oh, yeah, for sure. To make sure that we get to the playoffs. And how important is branding? Because that's something that, you know, you are somebody that we watched in regards to branding, you know, with, with Chad being mm -hmm. from New Orleans and us just understanding the importance of having a stamp, like you said, it's for somebody to walk important. around. It's everything. We're, who, where did you say? Where would you say you got the best information in regards to you starting your brand from? Because you know we learn from observing, you. observing people around me, and some of the big homie situations where people were trying to help me too, but watching them gain or lose traction, 
you know what I'm saying? And and kind of being able to highlight the mistake because I'm not on the field. Uh-huh. And I also don't have the right to tell you about the mistake because I'm the little homie, but it's just like, bet, I won't do that. Uh-huh. If, you know what I'm saying, I get a dollar above bus fare, I won't do that thing. Because sometimes I think once we get in the position where we want to make sure we always have mailbox money, we invest in too many things. And all the homies could come to you with an idea. And yeah, let's launch this. Let's do that. Let's do that. And some of that shit is terrible ideas. Some of it is just the homies thinking of ways to get bread from you. You know what I'm saying? It's like dead and investment and shit like that. And you crash out and your brand becomes bad. Trying too many different things, not staying true, especially like in, in art, be it music, anything you do art wise, like when you deviate from the style that garnered you your following and you start trying to dabble in other people's shit, like be trying to emulate their shit to get their success too, because you see maybe they getting a bigger bag, so like, oh, I should probably try and make some shit like this. All that shit run off your, that kill your brand, because they have to mean something. Like, Reese's Pieces means chocolate and peanut butter. <laughs> fucking, you, it's not gonna be a fucking Skittle. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta always be kind of the same, you know. You got to. Yeah, that's not being stagnant either. Like, that might sound like advice that'll crash somebody out. It's not like being afraid to change, but you know how to be progressive and just stay sharp. You still the same. A lion's still a lion. He just changed how he move and how to catch right. certain prey and shit. So you just do that, you know? Hey, man. 50 years of hip-hop, bro. Mm-hmm. And I know you were... You came up in a time I where was around for quite a few You've been of around those years for, of hip-hop. For hip-hop, man. I got to ask you some hip-hop shit. Go for it. Um, give me a cool-ass Mac Miller story. Uh, Rest in peace, Mac Miller. Yeah. Uh, fucking, he never heard so many fucking records. Bro, I played so many records for this dude, but I remember playing Kid Frost, This Is For La Raza. For him. This is for that. Yeah, I played that for him one time uh, when we was kicking it on the bus. And every fucking where he stopped damn near when we split split ways, whatever his, his tour was or wherever he would stop, when he would forget what the name of that song was, he would call me damn near like every other show. Like, big bro, what's the name of that song? I want to listen to that song when I get off stage. And I was like, all right. Like, you know, like, I, <laughs> so I just tell it, like, this is for Larazza, bro. Like, no matter how many times I text, bro, I had to text him the same thing to where you look at the text chain. Like, that's the only thing I'm saying. Just look at what I said. Like, it's it's there, bro. But I guess he just wanted to holler, so that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Like, being from, you know, D.C., like, New Orleans had a big impact on, you know, our city because our music was go-go. So a lot of the influence of the go-go came from, you know, different music. That's one of the best parts about being from my city is we got the influence from everywhere because it was blending in with the go-go. But in my mind, being from somewhere else, I always wondered what songs that are hit songs really impacted the city the same way that they impacted everywhere else. So I think about like big timers and 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 Master P and Bout It Bout It and you know what I mean, all them songs. Like what would you say was the one that hit here that everybody knew that this was going nationwide. Would you say that there was a song that you heard or that New Orleans heard and you knew when it came out here that when it hit the nationwide, it was all it's going to definitely go. I really liked huh because because huh like Juve did like the one word shit. It was on like I didn't think nobody else would it would do nothing like that. And then when they got the deal, and he did it again, like when he came with high, I was like, yo, like, people gonna, they're gonna eat this up because this, nobody, this, I don't know that this exists. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. Like, well, no matter what the bars were, you continue to go back to the same word. So I was like, nah, I think this gonna run, you know? And then like, I don't know if it was the first song ever that existed like that, but then like, whoa and shit like that yeah, came into yeah, existence. Yeah, and that was yeah. a style of song to do yeah like i wrote several songs like that i don't remember what the fuck they were but just <laughs> like in me trying to get into music like i know i had one of those you had to have like a one word song a one word song yeah. right all the way now what was a song you know that hit here from somewhere else that was that had a big impact on new orleans a song that was from because you know when you come from a place like this that create their own music you really don't have to listen to nobody yeah, else yeah, from nowhere that's else true. that's true but like fucking boys in the hood 
Easy E, uh, fucking NWA. For real? Yeah, that that, shit that, that that record. Time is classic. Boys that, in the hood that, is always uh, hard. That record kind of spawned a lot of like. That's how UNLV happened. Oh, like word. just ha- even having a group with an acronym, mm-hmm. you know, because it was like niggas with attitude. So all right, they uptown oh, niggas, niggas living, living violent. violent, right? Like that's how that even happened. You know what I'm saying? These I think I don't know. I'm not, I'm not new face. Right. I know, new face <laughs> I know he would know because he was probably there. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? But fuck, that's that's what I think. Hold yeah. on, bro. You see how hard that fucking merch collab is? I know. I know, I know, I know. You talking about this joint, right? This yeah, joint, yeah, right? I know. Yeah, like, I I'm know. wearing that at the show Saturday. I seen it and was like, oh, this going. Dress up. Can, just, just go this way. Yeah. I don't know. Can you, can you walk? Yeah, no, come, through here. We want to see it. Through here. They're talking about the sweatsuit. It's incredible. Just bam. Fit check. You dig? Bam. Yeah, spin around, boom. She did that perfect. She didn't did that before. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, she yep, just did so that there before. There it is. Yeah, it is a hell of a collab. Uh, I'm gonna get one or two on the way. You know, before I get out of here. Most I'm Bro. shopping with us. So we talking 50 Don't write years. mine off. I'm going to purchase mine. 50 years of hip hop. What are some Damn, of your... Damn, you a real professional. What's some You of... remember every, like, the topics. Yeah. yeah My mind is way on some other thing. I remember you saying that, and you yeah. went right back to it. Yeah. There's no cue cards. There's no nothing. Nothing. Sheer professionalism. That's it. Did you light <clears throat> the weed? Yeah, I'm going to relight it already. Uh-uh. I put it out. With weed in your... All right, that's right, dog. Let's I go. I put it out. I just want to make focused. sure that we didn't let that, you know... I didn't want to let that fall by the wayside. How sharp this just... Man, oh, yeah, so, yeah, oh, that, I got to get... Because you've been there. So, I yeah, need some right. of your favorite hip-hop moments. Fuck. Uh, what do you mean? Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre riding the fucking 6-4 on stage. At the bloom, 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 And then, bloom, like, bloom. Snoop hitting switches for real because I was a little kid who could tell... You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, what rappers, like, just was having them bitches in the videos and who actually knew how to fuck with the car? And Dog was was hitting the switch for real. Like, he mm-hmm. had great timing. He had that bitch coming off the ground. He didn't set it on fire. Because if you don't know what you're doing, your trunk going to catch on fire. Oh, and I was like, oh, all right, Snoop. There's probably one I can continue to listen to on the way to school because he's not just saying he's that shit. He's not just saying it. Yeah. Hip-hop moments you've been a part of. Some of your favorite that you've been a part of. Uh, The Carter too. Ooh. Yeah, Ooh. because what's crazy, like because Ooh. why? Because you you in the middle of like in the middle of it, so you don't know it's great, right? You know what I'm saying? Right. Now Tune knew he was great. Mm-hmm. He was like, I'm the best rapper alive. And I'm just like, bet, like you know what I'm saying? But then when shit did what it did, I'm like, whoa, that's fucking crazy. Like that shit changed so much, and then a lot of people who are doing incredible things now hold that album in high regard and like. You say that that was the turning point and how they do shit. And I'm like, damn, that's crazy because I didn't know that's what the fuck we was doing. Mm-hmm. And man, bro, put me in the artwork for that album. If you if you buy it, you, like when you buy the CD and you unfold that bitch, it's me and him yep. sitting on the bridge and yep. shit and kicking it because I was like the, the, the young money artist. And he was like in, like shifting into that mode of like, all right, no, well, if he's next, he got to be right there, bop, 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 bop. So that shit was crazy. Like, it made me, like, like it made people kind of maybe give a fuck. They're like, well, shit, I don't know. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We haven't heard it, but I assume it's cool. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Did, so when they talk about the Carter motherfuck. two and they have it in their hands now, like when they did, like, the anniversary or something, they were making it like it had just dropped again. People who were totally in the jet life, who I guess didn't even know that happened, was like, fuck. I didn't even know that was you. Yeah. Because I didn't know you. Uh, you know what I'm so saying? Like, fine. I didn't even know that was you, but I that was you. I can't get you yeah, out of here. But I got to ask you about this, Tonight. too, though. That's my shit, man. Mm-hmm. The Gangsta Grills. Mm-hmm. The shit that you was spitting on the Gangsta yes, Grills. Yes, sir. With the Very young... violent oh, rhymes. Oh, God. But the shit yeah. was cold. Violent rhymes. But I wasn't, you know what I'm saying? Like, the homies was living like that that I was around before music, before I became uh, able to afford myself to remove myself from said situations. You know what I'm saying? Both but um, life was like that. So I, I don't mind that that shit exists because I wasn't just like, just crashing out talking stupid shit. I, I, was, I was saying it in, in, a, in a way that was still intelligent, but I was actually like kind of around it. it. It was like that. You know? And the dope. other question I got, because I, I talked to the fans like that, and shit. But, yeah. but no, it's dope that you came out of that. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. And I talked to the fans and shit, and I got, you know, I got fan questions. They wanted me to ask, like, when do you return to the Pilot Talk series? And 
Well, and when do you and Wiz Khalifa link back up? Me and Ski talking about Pilot Talk Five. Ooh. See, we got the vinyl collection uh, dropping December first okay. of the first four uh, albums. So me and Ski talking about doing five. And actually, the last piece of uh, interview I just saw Wiz doing, he was talking about that we need to do some shit. Yeah. And I had been thinking that too. So we might need to put us a little project together. It won't take us but a day. So. That's dope. Yeah. yeah. I, I love quick. when you just drop projects. Like. Yeah, I got some shit right now. I'm going to the studio to, to listen to the final mix and give brother thumbs up and we could drop we could probably we could drop the shit in a minute because I'm not gonna wait for features or nothing. I'm just That's gonna go ahead and just put it out right quick. Yeah, so I got a question for you. I just did a thing with Wale at the Kennedy Center where he did a ten year anniversary for uh, one of his projects and they've been doing a lot of that this year with the 50 years of hip hop mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. if there was any project that you would present to the world as an anniversary like have you know no matter what time what project would that be for It'd you be, uh, uh, dri- drive in theater okay yeah I don't remember what records came from it I know well, I know me and French Montana had one on there. But well, regardless, whatever you gotta, you gotta do one with Sexy ones, Red. That's bro. the ones they talk about so much. You, with her? you gotta do one with Sexy Red. Do one. Do a song. song? Yeah. He right. said music yeah. song? Yeah, that should be hard, bro. That's cool. <laughs> what else? Can... <laughs> <laughs> nah, I was just like, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. you gotta do like, one with six. Said it like he was gonna say an OnlyFans <laughs> video? Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what else? Well, I, just, I mean, I know she's with child so? right now, so when you said that, I was like, you know, I don't know. That baby got a big fan base already. Make a baby with sexy. Yeah, baby. Do the fetus. Do a music song. Yeah. yeah. Let's go. Man. Bro, would you ever get on a drill song? Yeah, yeah. I mean, if it's like the, if if it's a, if it's if it feels right, if it's the good if it's a good song, and I actually have like some shit that makes sense that will go on there, I'm not gonna try to emulate that flow. Yeah, it's gonna be me. No, I'm talking about one of these new look gangster rappers. Like, could you get on there? Just do whatever you wanna do on that mode. Yeah, I mean, I was I would remain myself. If there's a way for me to use my same voice. In the same pattern I always do, and you know, then yeah. If that, if, and if that's that's the homie, you know, I'm not just gonna walk in somebody's session and just do some regular. That shit. I hard. gotta actually fuck with you, like, like uh, a couple of the young dudes is my homies, you know, like Playboy Card is my brother. Oh, that nigga. So is I on couldn't see me telling bro, like, nah, I'm not gonna put a verse on. <laughs> right. Uh, Trippy Red, my partner. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And um, I don't know. I would be like, yeah, I can figure it out. He sent me like two records. I'm, I did two of them. So, okay. Yeah. Now, hard. you we, you know, like I was saying, the, the, coming from somewhere that has their own style of music, Go Go has kind of faded out because of the rap music. Is bounce music still prevalent in New Orleans with the rap? Now? It can't go away. And I didn't know that Go Go was fading. Like, yeah, people don't really. I mean, the culture's still there, but the the youngins are more into the rap now. They rapping now. Whereas though when I was growing up, I didn't want to be a rapper. I wanted to be in a go-go band. That was my <laughs> go-go was so important. <laughs> you should important. get one anyway. When I mean, I, that's when what I'm I saying. When I did like, the cash at, I had to perform with a go-go band in DC. Like what, that was part. Which one it was? That was part of the rollout. Like mandated from Universal Records. Like the same way they're saying you got, you have to go to Power 106. You gotta go to High 97. You gotta go. You gotta do flex. You gotta kill this. You gotta do that. They're like you have to perform your single with this band at whatever this was that it was some whatever it was, it was the big the best go-go shit that they have you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying so it was real a real big deal that i was doing my record with them yeah. i would i want to say the backyard band I, what the fuck yeah yeah yep that's yeah. what i all right <laughs> yeah because yeah. that's that's yep. uh that's you know our band backyard that's who big it was G with. Is lee singers my fans my cousin but that's our you know if 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 you would say the GOAT band, mm-hmm. it, arguably from my nah, generation, but I had to perform. I had to back yeah. Universal but, Records made that shit happen. Yeah. Like, like that was part. That was like having me go on fucking. How everybody got to go on Fallon now. Yeah. They're like, make sure he go rap that record. Right, yeah, because yeah. it solidifies you yeah, in the city. But sure. the the music itself, the scene has has died down. But I know bounce music is so major in New Orleans. But you know, you got the rap has pretty much taken over. For sure, over. but what it is is like it's damn near it's two different styles. So it's some people who might feel like they they can't sit, they can't make a rap. 
Like they're not gonna write and make bars and think of bars, but they could do a bounce record mm -hmm. because it's just a, a few chants that are gonna hit, you know, some strike a emotion with the people. You know what I'm saying? You know what's gonna make a move and shit. So if you say that shit a number of times, bitch is gonna stand on the head. You know, it's right. it's cool. Just do it. You know. But you gotta have the ability to know what to say. This nigga just so, fell. You know. <laughs> Did you? I thought you was like doing some kind of. No, that nigga fell. Yeah, my man looked like. <laughs> How a were you? My man definitely looked like a Tuskegee Airman. Like he, uh, he would have been a Tuskegee was... Airman. <laughs> like Red Tails pilot. <laughs> Chico, you should just, you should really start a, a go go band. <laughs> Listen, I would, you know what? That'd be uh, dope, man. No, you know look I mean? at the camera and just. Yeah, Find you some dope. authentic people from DC, and then you can put a band on the camera together. Because you called him a Tuskegee Airman. He do look some like kind of way. Yeah, you definitely some got that. Tuskegee people need Airman. to know why that was said. You can't. I, he looked like he tried to be a singer at one point in his life. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you offered the profile shots. Nobody said to Don't, do that. Somebody gonna find all this information in Google when he used to be an actor. <laughs> you know, I was almost, I was almost a heartbeat. He don't even know how he got That's involved. That's what happens like, when you fall. What happened? You fail. You, be, you get ostracized when you yeah, fall. You hey man, that's, that's Joe. Happens, I thought that was just, just a dude who walked by that looked like Joe. I bullshit you <laughs> not. Yeah, when he Joe, walked by the first time, I was yeah. like, that nigga look like Joe. Joe done walked, been walking up and down the street taking pictures yeah, of walls. That's, that's what that this is. This gentleman is part of the staff. Oh, he this, is this, so the weird. Structural, <laughs> the structure of this is so nice. It's I look nice. at Joe sometimes to remind myself that I am successful. Yeah. Because he has gotten to the point where he just doesn't give a fuck about nothing. That's nothing. right. Nothing. That's the truth. And that's my partner. So yeah. if he don't give a fuck about nothing, Why I you? know I'm giving too then much. Then wear a robe fuck. to the board Man, meeting. this dude will show up wearing a raincoat and rubber pants. And I don't even ask him where he going when he finished, man. That's a sign of success. Exactly. He ain't gave a fuck in like the last seven years. Eight. Eight. Yeah. You gotta add a year on that for as soon as sh good shit started happening, he started giving less and less and less of a fuck. He be wearing wooden glasses and shit. Hey, y'all ain't got no neck caps though. Y'all ain't no, got no beanie or something. Yeah, no, we do. We, we do. Oh, yeah. Got all, yeah. Bro, we got everything. Is it like that snap that I know what you don't have, though. That's the hat I'm talking about right there. What's the name of that hat that my brother got on the Navy Blue Joint? What's that hat? The Ghetto oh, Legends 2. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the good luck hat. That's right, the hat. Man. That's the hat. That's I know what y'all don't have, though. I bet y'all don't have no Jet Life onesies for the newborns and the infants. Nah, we don't. And I'm actually thinking about taking care of the babies, man. You have to. You got to. Yeah, nah, we got to roll it out. Do y'all We have got some? shirts with extra material at got, the bottom for big girls. Y'all got 85 South Show onesies? Yeah. 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 I told you, we got the shirts with the extra bottom for the well, big girls who like to pull them down. What is it? Oh, pull them up on the, the phone. They at the warehouse. They at the warehouse. We got them on the site, the baby ones. <laughs> Chad, he South think we bullshit. Don't we have ones? Y'all got 85 South Shore onesies? Yeah, because yeah. we have had a lot of 85 South Shore babies, babies. born. Yeah, I could yeah. dig it. A lot of pregnant women. I could women dig it. Yo. Show. We take pictures with the baby, Shit, and then yeah. they, they send us stuff like, I got to put the baby in some 85 South Shore. They got to leave point, with something. They take, they take the picture while she pregnant. Then they send the the picture of them born. Then they be like, man, we run into them in the city. Then you they throw That's the right. baby to you. Like, you remember she was pregnant with them? Yeah, yeah, paid. yeah we. I gotta ask point. though. Speaking of that, like, what was the first Jet Life piece that you would say went platinum? Like the first hat or hoodie or what would you say was the first one that went crazy? The well, I don't know. I think my audience would say like all of them, but I think uh, the Letterman's. The Letterman jackets we did mm -hmm. with uh like with the flowers and shit on them. Mm -hmm. I finally I got my Letterman be what did it. And that the other joint, the the one that I the one that we did when I got my rose, this green and orange joint because Nas had it on after he got his Grammy and fucking Lotto had it on on some freestyle shit she was doing and it became like some crazy ass jacket. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I felt like fucking uh Ralph Lauren, Carl Lagerfeld. Oh, at yeah, that point, I'm yeah. like, yeah. Chico got one. Felt of like them. you had, huh? Yeah. Didn't do make you one. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, All yeah. the way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I finally got mine. I ain't know that that's what happened. The shit had blew up, and then I finally got my Letterman jacket. Oh, all right, all right. Yeah. yeah. Cause those pieces, like those pieces, are so you know. Cause that's my thing. I'm into the fashion, and like, if you look at like the, like you said, Ralph Lauren with the polo. 
the 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 jacket that Raekwon had on the Snow and, Beach, and the Snow Beach, the Snow Beach, the snow beach yeah. pullover, or, or I you paid know what I mean? so and, much money for a Snow Beach. For real? Yeah. And then they did the remake. You know, they, yeah, they did but the see, remake. They got but some it, that don't say Snow it wasn't, Beach on it. It wasn't cool. It, yeah, it, it don't it say Snow good. Beach on it. it wasn't you know what I mean? Yeah, man. Like, I like, dropped some ducats on the fucking Snow Beach. Yeah. I got to. Um, yeah. You gotta, have to. Like, the, the WB was big when I was when I was a young and Like, the, the Warner Brothers with the Looney Tunes and all mm -hmm. of that. Like, that mm -hmm. was big. And I found the jean jacket that I had when I was a young and an old WB jean jacket. And I was, and it was at a thrift store, and my man was like, "You want that?" I said, "Sir, you have no idea the nostalgia of this jacket. I wore it, and when I was in D.C. doing shows, man, in don't ever so give them the history it was just of some shit you about to buy oh, before you buy it. Buy it first, and then talk to your shit. No, I mean I had it at that no, point. You, it was too late. No, uh, it was just the logo, or it was no, the it characters. was the WB with all of the characters. It's, it's a specific one. It had the WB on the back, and it had all the cartoon characters going around it in the circle. Yeah. And I wore it in D.C. when I did a show, and I can't even tell you how many people tried to buy it off. Man, I ended up giving it to my mama. My mama you wanted it. You had the Bugs Bunnies, like the you know what I when they was dressed like crisscross. No, that was that was my mama and used to wear them. I couldn't get with them when they was when the when Bugs Bunny Why had the pistol. That's the that? shit. Yeah, I that's had what I collect. Coyote, yeah, that that shit. Coyote DJing. smoking a blunt. He was DJing. <laughs> the Black Simpsons family. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah no, nah, no. Nah, what, what did go was the the Fat Albert, like the Fat Albert Fubu edition, Fubu, the Fubu Platinum. That no, was, you yeah. do, but you ain't fuck with the, the nah, whole flip of the character. They were too sacred to you. No, no, no. I just wasn't old enough to get it at that time. Like my mama wasn't buying none of that. Like I guess whoever oh. was selling it. You wasn't. know what's high as fuck <laughs> online? What? Fake Gucci from back in the day. What? Uh, what you mean? Like uh, yeah, Dollar like, Dan? Yeah. No, like mm -mm. the knockoff Gucci shit. Oh, no, nah, I ain't know that. The resale on that shit is crazy. Look it up. But see, but coming from D.C., we had our own clothing lines. Madness, DDTP, All Day, Shooters. Like, tight, all of these though. different brands that where you seen somebody with a certain brand on, you can tell what part of the city they from. Like, if somebody had on Madness, that was, they was from Uptown, more than likely. They had on Shooters, they was from Northeast. They had on All Day. The people were shopping Southeast. with these places? Like, they weren't that much. I ain't were, never paid were, that much attention these places to what I'm talking they about, from. this is what you aspire to, to get. Like, that's what I look at, like, a Jet Life brand. It reminds me of that same style of, yeah, of clothing brand cool, where man. you know when you go there, it, it's no time that is no place that you can go to in the city where you can't go to your spot and get For something sure. all right that's going to be fresh that people going to respect yeah. and yeah, it don't yeah, matter yeah. what nobody else have on nigga have on all gucci all yeah, louis vuitton yeah. but if you come now, in with that a new couple spots out here suit, like that too then now. niggas is like you got that on and yeah. it's going to get the same respect as anything you buy this high end mm -hmm. you know what i mean mm -hmm. and that's, that's what we trying to really strive for some high end for ghetto brand, shit. you know what i'm that's saying like that's what we look to do like when we when you show up with this on, it should get the same type of, of respect as something that costs for sure fifteen hundred sixteen hundred dollars. We have dollars. achieved that, yeah, yep, we have achieved. What that. does that feel like, like for you, uh, as a brand? I mean, like a, a pat on the back. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like just to know that if we go somewhere and I see somebody had that, because I know if I know you, you know what I'm saying? I could tell if, if I put it in motion or not. But I see motherfuckers who I know for sure. I don't know them. I didn't send them in the store. I know shit. They came in here and bought that shit on the strand of buying it. And I know how much, you know, I know it wasn't no cheap piece. I'm like, you bought that to wear that to the fight. Right. Fucking thank you. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. Because you could have went to Saks or something, <clears throat> but at your house when you counted your money out, the Jet Life store was in your oh, mind of places right, yeah. to go, so I'm like, that shit matters. I be wearing the 85 yeah. South show shit at the, at the baby show. Y'all need to shit, drop man. a cool letterman for us, man. Oh, we, we got, got one. one. Chanel, Pat, you know, put me down. What shit? Where mine? Chad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Chad. Baby, Ghost it, Town. Need a letterman, he was man. right there. Mine in the Where car. Letterman? <laughs> Where Letterman? Y'all got Letterman's? Where mine? Yeah, yeah, we got some. No, I know that. What I'm asking about is it's the in route. one that's for me. It's in route. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Told you it's in route. Nobody just assumed maybe I would want one. You always got your name on it. Yeah. Don't you? <laughs> yeah, we're going to get that embroidered right now. Right now, yeah. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> we in that. No, don't just, right don't just like say shit. Right <laughs> oh, yeah. Fuck out of here. All right. No bullshit. We, get, we literally got you one. All right. Thanks, man. Hell yeah. We looking out for the community and shit out here. Man, you see how quick the weather changed? I know. Yeah. 
That's how I that know, shit be. I don't be. even want to light my little roach. I feel like the wind going to take it out. You know how that shit be, man. What's dog next? Dog what you got coming up? Christmas and shit is yeah. right around the corner. Uh, me and Traumatone got a project. I oh, probably drop dope. right quick. Okay. Me and my homeboy, D-Lo from Monster Beats, we got a joint. We probably uh, put out top of the year. Me and Fendi P got a joint that we're going to put together. And me and Larry June got a whole computer full of records. That's hard. Yeah, so, I mean... Bang, 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 bang. We got it. We working on the movie. We got a part in there for you. Fuck with me, please. Oh, oh, well. It's that time of my life yeah. now. You know what I'm saying? I'm about like to start getting in shape. The way you pulled up on me in the Rolls Royce, that's like, what you got to do Come through like the Method Man. And yeah. they're just going to have me in all kind of like yeah. Harlem Renaissance movies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you they pulled up on me in the Rolls Royce when we was in Alabama, that's what you got to do in the movie. You got to be that type of character. Yup. I'm cut my hair like my homie and put a part. Inside of my <laughs> yeah, like Nino Brown, like you That's the Dakota. That's the only thing you ain't do. I'm going to cut my shit down like Clay, but I'm going to put a part right in the side of No, nah, you got to put it in the middle like the Tuskegee Airmen used to do. Not you know, really in the middle, just off to the tooth. side. Not like you right here, go to the, just about right, to right the, there. To the cotton club. Uh, <laughs> the Thermotimus hook. You know how I that always wanted the Thermotimus part in my head, but I never got it. Never I'm got from it. New Orleans, so the only thing I do is get the two parts in, in the, the back, back right here. That's all I can do. I wonder if Jerry Curl's ever going to come back. Like an en- like environmentally like friendly Jerry Curl. I'm getting a Jerry Curl before I cut my hair. Like so a see. vegan Jerry Curl. Yeah, like I'm, something that's safe for the environment. No, I'm getting like a real Jerry Curl. I'm Kirk. getting a soul mm-hmm. glow. I'm getting a destroy the fucking interior. Yeah, uh, yo, yeah, I'm talking about. That's what I wanted. That's I gotta get one get of them. With soul them glow. And a and a I got I'ma find a dude that do Al Shopkins conks and I'm a, that's gonna be the last thing I put in. Is that's a your real, final form. That's the final form right that's there. Is the form. is the is heating up shorty. Then I'm cutting yeah, it off. It <laughs> man, this shit's so dope. Oh Come shit. On, man. It's a beat Who is this? Bitch. This is 85 right. South nah, I'm talking presented about by beat. Backwoods, yeah. And nah, nah. the B two. You know what I mean? All the Nigga way. They flew a whole drone over the thing now. Yeah. What's going on? Them young people. Well, all right. That's that. That's that jet life shit for real. Yeah, mm-hmm. for real. Oh, it's about to get crazy out here. These niggas done bought a tent. That's a can. A volleyball that's for y'all. net. What? What are that's they sitting on? Canopy. Up? They might put the canopy up here for the oh, weather most change. Definitely. They heard you say the weather was changing, so let's... I didn't mean change. to speak that shit to existence. Man, I them people trying just, to make sure you got this. It's going to hold up until we finish. Chico, you on here looking like the most successful drug dealer in the neighborhood. Yeah, man. You know, this is just nostalgia for me. Like, this is me being able to dress like the niggas I grew up watching. That's how but, the guest stars dress on every sitcom. Yes, yeah. most definitely. Nigga, I mean, come on, Martin. Yeah. That's what yeah. they were. All the way. You know what I'm saying? But these Show up on the Fresh one Prince. Of the, I got two pictures <laughs> of my father. Uh, one when he was holding me, and the other one he had on a, t- a Sergio Tacchini sweatsuit. So that's why, yeah, that's all come on, man. Man, that mean, shit mean a lot to me, man. When they like, brought these back out, I was like, oh, I gotta get them. Because you look like so many things today, there, like a good ass softball coach. You said a good ass softball. Like a good coach? softball. Coach. Oh no, nah, you nah, know who you know. You ever, you ever seen? Coach. You ever seen the movie Original Gangsters? Yeah. This what they had on. This what them when they was fighting. Fighting the gang members when <laughs> Braxton Hartnabrig and them was the gang members. This is with Fred, Han- Braxton Fred Taylor was, and them. Braxton was the gangster. Braxton gangsta. Hartnabrig was a gangster Braxton in that movie. Braxton was the gangster. You know what I mean? Original so, gang- you remember that I movie? do remember oh, that. Right. They, that's Rappin' Forte was in Forte there. was in there, yeah, all Drew the way. Drew Down. Yeah. Drew Down was in there. Drew Down. That was, oh, that was Drew Down. That what, Rappin' Forte was in it too, wasn't it? I don't remember. No, I just remember Drew Down. Oh, Drew was Down in. was definitely Drew Down was the villain in there. Drew Down was in there. Yeah. Oh, Jim yeah. Brown was yeah, in there. Jim Brown was Fred in there. Fred Williamson. Pamela. Uh, Pam Grill. Pam Grill. You know what I mean? They was they Everybody was the old was school. Yeah, all the yeah. 70s, all the 70s black exploitation heroes was was fighting the gangbangers. <laughs> Why did they call it black exploitation? Were they exploiting the actors and not paying them? No, nah, they were because nah, they, they were exploiting the, the fact that the they fact wouldn't put them in mainstream movies. Yeah. Hmm? They were exploiting the fact that they wouldn't. It was a it was a play on the fact that black people couldn't get in mainstream music mm-hmm. movies, so they had to make their own movies. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, they wasn't exploiting themselves. They All were right. showing. Because I was one well, like, well, shit. I think this is pretty was, good for yeah. us. And right? you know, they didn't even invent the term. You know where the term came from? Mm. 
That's what that's they call it. To know. See, yeah, Black people so just call them movies. Movie. That's why I asked the question. I'm like, yeah. why would it be called that? Why is it? You not think a nigga was movie? like, hey, I got this black sport? No, Thank nigga can't explaining. even say all that. Yeah. Listen, yeah. man, I got this black movie with some black people in it. It's Cadillac. We're entering into another. We over black there at Willis Hot Dog era, Stand, though. right here in the neighborhood in the community. Y'all support it, man. Right here, I'm telling you, it's coming out next Friday. What's your favorite one? Check My week. favorite black exploitation movie. It ain't but five dollars. Uh, <laughs> I would have to say, uh, uh, man, that's a hard one. Your favorite what? Black exploitation movie. I'd probably I say the miseducation of Sonny Carson. No, the oh, education right. of Sunday. Education. Serious. The education of Sunday. Well, Damn. I thought it was the miseducation of Sunday Cost. I think it's education. Yeah. I don't even know how you yeah, can yeah, pick up. That's such a dog. favorite. Nah, man, that's my Damn. shit. Because then you message. gotta rank the Dolomite series. Yeah. Then you got shit like Willie Dynamite. Willie Dynamite. JD's Revenge. JD's Revenge. And is then a classic. you got shit like Coffee. Right, so Black you, Black you, you got five. God, I can't pick. I like them all. all right, I all would right. watch the worst black people movie from 1960. I was asking all that to say. So you, have you seen Truck Turner? Yeah. Truck Turner's the shit. Truck Turner don't have yeah. the most replay value of all those movies. I don't know if it. I, JD's Revenge got a, a heavy replay value in my I don't in know. my book. Cotton but, comes to Harlem. It's yeah. so many stars in that movie. Yeah. But Truck man, Turner was tough. The green, though. the green pasture. Yafi Koto. Have you ever <laughs> seen the green pasture? Yeah. No. Come on, man. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Right, 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 right. Cornbread early me. Cornbread early me. Yeah, I don't Cooley like that. Mur- these are people are murdered in these. I don't like to lose these people, man. Cornbread early me. Man, cornbread could probably make it home in 20 seconds. Man, what you talking about? Cornbread so fast, he could probably make it home he, in 10 seconds. How much further did he make it? 10 feet. Yeah. All right. They killed Cornbread. All right then. So I don't. I don't yeah, it's fucked up what they did. Cooley high. That was terrible too. Uh-huh. I think my dad showed me all those just to like show me what could happen. Penitentiary. Yeah. yeah. That one I've never seen. <laughs> you never seen I gotta penitentiary? see Penitentiary. Niggas told it's me I gotta watch five Penitentiary. Of them, so make it an afternoon. All right, bet. I gotta watch Penitentiary. But yeah, JD's Revenge is one of my right, favorite. Yeah. Just Dolomite has the best black like woman titties ever to be caught on cinema. I like that. Hold up, this gotta be on the record. Dolomite had the best black woman titties ever to be recorded in a movie. If you watch any one of Rudy Ray Moore films, he made sure to capture the essence of the black woman's titty. It's so many classics though that that got, like you said, their replay value of them 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 quotables from the movies. You know what I mean? A hundred dollars, you messing with Joe Blue, the love of man, bitch. You should be paying me. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying this. Just them classic lines from them them movies, but we like I said, we're entering into another era with Tubi. Like Tubi is creating no style of movies again. I don't you know if you seen watch Tubi. Have you, are the you brother from Tubi? another I've, planet. I've only seen examples of what can happen on Tubi. No, listen, let me cinema. tell you, Tubi on movies. On Instagram, I see shit that I don't even think is actually a real. Yes, I think it's people real. Are actually just making this shit. For Instagram and then nah. saying that it is no, it's, no, it's real. definitely Tubi promotion. It's real. Tubi, I saw a Tubi movie, a nigga shot himself. True story, he was like, the fire, then you did cut, and it's him in another outfit shooting himself. <laughs> I said, oh, this is classic cinema right here. It's opening up the market for what you, like, it's next level, man. You got to saw a nigga no, get they, shot. You can just up, you can put anything, like, you, you can yeah. upload, board, yeah. It's like, no, they don't give through, a fuck. All it has to be is complete. Revision. Just, com- I don't know. They don't have a standard. I seen a nigga in the Tubi movie get shot, and then he raised up and watched the rest of the scene. <laughs> True story. <laughs> you got to watch these movies, man. They classic movies, man. I'm talking about. Beyond classic. Just next, if you if you could rattle off a name of one or two, that would be a miracle. Because now these two like movies, they titles be the simple. Movie. Yeah, it'd be like Hair School. Yeah, Barbecue. Shot him. That'd be the name of the movie. Right. It's a dude out of Detroit named Murder Pain, who is I would say the Scorsese of Tubi movies. Like this, if you watch, if you want to get into like start with a Murder Pain series, like any Murder Pain <laughs> out of Detroit. <laughs> Murder pain, anything murder pain. If you want to be entertained, watch those movies because they his are actually very entertaining. You know what I mean? Chico is a, that's what we're gonna need to do a show where Chico is just uh, being a movie critic, yeah, reviewing yeah. Tubi movies. Oh, that'd sure be dope with with outfits on. Yeah, you know what I mean? And interviewing some of the stars <laughs> like 
Like <laughs> there are there there's to be stars. Hell yeah. There could possibly have to be a to be awards. Yes. yes. You can make a to be movie about the Jet Life Shop. Like it could be what it could be, and that's the thing. Whatever it is you want to call it, you could call it. Depending on how y'all film it, it could be a drama, a comedy, a horror movie, whatever you want to do. All you gotta do is just have a most camera. two most good Tubi movies are a mix of, mixture of all of those things. <laughs> Sometimes this shit start off with some shit that ain't got nothing now, to do with the movie. What's the stuff shot with? Production value. -wise. iPhones, yeah. real cameras. Yeah, it's a pretty. Them like, cameras that go on your shows. Yeah, yeah, like you, like you will have a scene where. But they got some some high quality bullshit now. Yeah, they have a scene with somebody. And this is just, just tell me this. It's good. It's it's hood From good. A to Z list. All right. Any actor or actress who we've seen above ground on anything. No, lending, lending no. Their 50 50 no, to no, Tubi no. movie. Fifty fifty. Yeah. Have you seen someone? Yeah. That you've seen in other shit. Delicious. Okay. All right. That's a name I know. <laughs> yeah. So Delicious is in Tubi movies? I'm yeah. sure she is in oh, there whether she knows it or not. Yeah. Oh, shit. All right. She probably got a few Tubi movies on there. All um, right. I was shout out to all the gospel real, movies that's on Tubi. Yes. Yes. They got some good gospel, gospel movies. Gospel yeah, like movies. church, black people church black people shit. church movies. Yeah. So it really, I fuck with it because I support black people. And you get like, what I'm saying? I do. If we didn't have no cable, that's what we'd be we watching. would survive off too. Too. All right. Okay. If, it, if the internet just so happened to fuck up, <laughs> <laughs> like if we didn't have access to Tubi other would shit, be it. like yeah. if we went to visit our cousins who still live in the hood, that nine times right. out of ten I'm they would still be watching. Oh man, please! Evening. I got two hours for yeah, Tubi today. Yeah. Trust me, you're gonna be. All right. You're gonna. You're gonna, you gonna your find favorite. your lane. I just wanted y'all to give me one title that I just recommend. But you like, no, did. but I told Murder you. Murder Pain. I Anything got the guy. That that guy. But Francis those Ford titles Oakland. on those movies, they just tell you exactly what the movie about. That's all right. Murder Pain. I'm just gonna tax with money. It is accurate. The that cookout. Is, the cookout, right. I'm sure there's a the cookout. I'm something, something. Grandma's pork. Avenue. I don't want to get my phone out. <laughs> Love I, I really, I, I really want to try this. tax money. Watch this. Grandma's porch is on there. At least, look, tax. Just type tax. And let's see what that gives you. And then, Tubi and movie then tax. And see whatever they put with that. Okay. Tax money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Child support. You think I you thought that was good? I shit. know that's good. <laughs> you thought I was listening to how simple these titles are. Money plane. The seven five. Quick change. Ooh. The adventurers. Into the ashes. Rob the mob. Rob, <laughs> Rob the mob. Honestly, is that a murder pain production? I don't know. Probably. Quick so. money. I'm going to watch Rob the Mob. Can you just give me some murder pain titles? Just okay, while you man. got the database pulled up. I got up. you. Let me get that. Let me just see. Because I need to know what yeah, I'm Yeah, I'm telling you. Is, do I want okay, to check like this out. Murder power, Pain. 5 0. <laughs> Buffed up. Mm. 2 11. Got my hustle up. Mm. Plug love. Playing time on Got My Hustle Up. What am I getting into? <laughs> How long? Like, what, is, what are we doing? What, you need a synopsis? No, no, no. The playing time Hold on. of this movie. The runtime? Yes. Oh, two hours and 12 minutes. That's all you need. But trust. You I a get, lifetime by fan the time, after two hours by and 12 minutes. the time, minutes. you in an hour and 30 minutes. Whatever you, you had to do, you not doing it. You're like, bro, I got to finish watching this. <laughs> I'm telling you. I got to <laughs> know Have you ever watch some now? shit like, I, I want to turn it off, characters. But I cannot not it. know what's going to happen. I'm, you will cancel some important shit. But like, no, nah, fuck that. She just got her tax money. <laughs> right. <laughs> I have and to I see know what, in your soul. what living room says she decided Yeah, to go with, know. right. Does I'm her baby you. daddy get out of jail? No, he Is doesn't. Is he going to become the man and step no, up for the family? It. No, he doesn't. But he got it. I'm telling you, man. The plug love, when you talk about them type of movies, the scenarios that they imagine. come up you with, be really what niggas would sit around and try to drum up in real life. They don't. It's no script. It's just niggas say, you know what? Bro, we should What's make a movie. Love? What's the overview? Okay, hold on. Um, plug love. Wait a minute. I got you. I'll pull it up. 
could go a few ways. <laughs> see, now you coming up with a synopsis. That's why you I could want, do plug love to too. Just so I can see like how a I, woman discovers I the true it. definition of love and puts an end to her relationship with her cheating fiance. So where the plug come from? You know what I thought? <laughs> I thought she started a relationship with the weed man. That's probably oh, what he's happened. Selling but then birds. I thought she was like, you know what? Like That's probably what happened. Like, I done fell for him and then now they started their relationship. Maybe Listen. they take over the drug game and wherever this town is. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? They do their thing. See how you write movies now? That's what See? I thought. You so, write yeah, movies. All right, so I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna telling write you. a few movies for yes, TV then. Yeah, right. telling you. That's it. Hits. There it is. All you need is two words. Wherever you want to go with it. Jet yeah. life, nigga. You nah, already got to. I don't want to do. Now nah, I'm not coming in like that. <laughs> you want to switch That's it up? That's not going to be much. <laughs> you need, just need an angle. You need an end. Damn. I don't know right now. Right now, it's something about. Give me the plot. i give you one. Try, all right. Motherfuckers return and shit without the receipts. Boom. No receipt. No receipt. That's it. You know what I mean? My my daughter. Damn, that's you, it. I told you. I got I another told. one. I got an alternate. Oh, customer service. Store credit. Yep. Layaway. <laughs> my, I tell you how my daughter used I to like pronounce your credit. name when she was young. She used to call you Currency the Hospital. That's it right there. Currency the Hospital. <laughs> it's, a, it's a series. People, was, Currency people, Hospital. Adults, it's a, it's a hospital in the middle of the hood. They only accept cash. That's it. Currency, the hospital. I'm telling you, man. All right. So what's up? Are we we're gonna keep doing this? Or are we gonna start we're gonna this put move? Some action we clearly it. got enough people, and there's what four cameras here. What's up? I'm telling you, well, I'm telling you. Currency, the hospital, the man. Thing. That would go. That would go. Right Three there. black nurses from the inner city struggle to get their accreditation Ooh. while they save lives uncertified. Whoa. There's only one hospital. Fucking right, take. operating on gunshot niggas. Yeah, but they don't got like they, they saving they, niggas. They in school, but they though. get paid like we're just you know. Just straight cash. Like it's I got just forty five dollars, man. Don't let me die in here like this. <laughs> and they just accepting that shit. Yep. I could dig it. Yep. That's hard. Nigga get Dang. shot, be like, babe, I'm taking you to the hospital. Don't take me to no regular hospital. And the well, crazy, this is the kicker. Take me to currency the hospital. Currency the hospital. <laughs> they not even certified. <laughs> they in nursing school. Nah, they just in there doing shit. Right. Listerine on but the gunshot But they, right. they nah, trying to get right. They trying to get right. I'm with it, man. That's the that's what make people Cause root they could have been dancing at the players club. Right. They but they instead, actually do that to kind of keep it to get it off the ground. Bro, the scene of uh, the break that's room at currency the hospital. Bro, the Three scene, strippers with a harder go. The scene when we in the break room. Take all one of them needed man. stitches. They I'm save up. You. One of them tore her ACL. She couldn't afford the surgery. So they all go in and I'm they start. Studying, bitch. We going to save you. They right. did a montage of them. Just, yeah, just well, hella studying. The, the shit, this doing with her foot up. How y'all coming along? We working <laughs> on it. <laughs> then they fuck around and successfully do an ACL surgery on their homegirl. All right. There that's how it jumped it off. So what is called? Currency the hospital. <laughs> Why not? <nah. laughs> we got something going, but take my name off. <laughs> but no, it's not your name. It's currency. <laughs> like like the money. With, with C's. With right the way. C. It's yeah, the right okay. way. Currency the hospital. That's just that's it, bro. Uh, we get a green well, screen. Can that be like superimposed in the artwork? Kind of yes. like King Kong, like just a big face. Yeah. That's kind of in the clouds. Yeah. Kind of just overseeing all yeah. hospitals. Yeah, activity. we but the, yes, it you just got the, you that you in the you at the top office. You know what I mean? Right. That's um, it. I'm you with you. You know what I'm saying? And everybody got to go through you, but you only see cases of people who come with the money at the same time. Like anybody who got a payment plan, they don't get to see you till they they budget paid all the way off, and you don't, don't never do nothing. Them. You just tell them what now they the should. The whole currency hospital operates flat out. You got to have all the money immediately. Yeah. Oh, okay. Most definitely. Whatever you got, right? It's about there. what you got in your pocket, like what you have <laughs> on. You. And then the three nurses really wear it out. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I think we could. Hey, do we it. don't want to give them too much. Yeah. I think it's no. Work, that's though. coming. All right. I think it could work. There you go. Chico, we really got to get in our bag and get these movies pushed. That man, out. for real, bro. You see, we just came It'd up. It'd be with a one tragedy. If we did all of that uh, plot development and, and didn't, then didn't apply it, nothing. I'm already working on characters. Yeah. Mr. Earl, he don't own the building. He just act like he do. Yeah, he clean up. He cleans up, and he the one who's like, 
he's the soul of the show. Because he's the one who sit them girls down and give them that old nigga advice. That they need to try right. and learn how to do the shit they self you to ever save heard of their a, home, girl. You ever heard of a father figure? Mm -hmm. He's more of a stepfather figure. Okay. Like Just they, enough information, like but they, not a lot of love. They respect him, but they don't like him. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Black male, 55 to 60. I put one of the homies on. Exactly. All right, then. Hey, man. Well, we about to be kicking in here. We finna go in here and check out the rest of this collab. Y'all need to get uh, some things from my trunk. I drove the right car. That's why I drove that one instead okay. of the coupe. Because I want to put shit in the trunk and all the way across the back seat, too. So. Oh, yeah. Most definitely. Yeah. That's it. It's always a pleasure chopping it up with man, you, man. Y'all got a pleasure, man. Good, Thank you. Uh, big shit you coming in the future. For, for I want to go fuck with this motivation. car, though. I need to go peek at this car. So if we really, if we really good. We really good. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll do the. We'll go look at this vert, man. Lot. 85 love South so Show. Much. I'm going to go Backwards check out Lounge. this. Yes, 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 yes. I'm distracted. So you did. Let me see what you did, man.